Okay, I wanted to show you guys uh, Google Earth, which you may or may not know anything about. Uh, it is so cool just to play with Google Earth. And if you zoom in, it is better than Google Maps because it has almost like a 3D rendering of your house and stuff. And I live very near here. But when you start to get close, you can actually see the 3D of buildings, which I have no idea how they did that. But then you can sweep around and see... Um, you can sweep around and see like the, all different sides of the building that you want to look at. But anyway, Google Earth, what I really wanted to show you was the flight simulator that I stumbled upon when I got here. So if you go up to Tools, Enter Flight Simulator, and I would pick the smaller plane. You might be able to add planes to this, but right now they give you two, and I would pick the smaller plane. It's easier to fly. You hit Start Flight, and you can use your mouse or the arrow keys and it's a little tricky but I'm gonna try to show you how to land and that's all you really need. I'm gonna show you the basics and that's all you really need to know. Um, if As you're getting used to it you'll notice that you'll be doing what I'm doing right now which is overcompensating. You'll hit the key and it'll go way over one side and way over the other. Um, <clears throat> anyway there's two things you need to know. The page up and the page down. Page down will slow your speed, and you can see the little arrow down here on the bottom left. Page up. Makes you go faster. Page down. Key. Makes you go slower. So you'll need to know that when you land. The other thing are the flaps. You see the little thing on the bottom uh, left? Flaps at 20%. Well, if you use your bracket keys, which are close to your enter key, those flaps can go up to 100% and it will also slow you down. So when you're ready to land, you'll need to go full flaps and take your speed all the way down. And you, your miles per hour is up here on the top left and you'll see you, I'm going 130 right now and I'm slowing down to 125. So everything on the, on the left is what you'll need to begin with. And then on the right is your altitude. So what I'm going to do is try to land real quick and um, I'm probably going to fail because I'm not that great at it, but I just wanted to show you that it has a flight simulator, it's fun to play with, and what you need to know to get started. So you see my flaps are at 100%, I'm going to hit my left bracket key, and I'm going to try to land out in these fields up here, which is kind of funny. I've, this is North St. Charles or North St. Louis area. I've actually biked around this area a lot. So I happen to know that there are some really flat fields out there. This is real world. Real world maps. So I'm going to nose dive down here and try to land. It is so touchy. You know, you hit one key. <clears throat> you hit one key and it wants to go so far, so much further than you want. All right, and I'm also going to speed up. I'm going to hit the page up so I can speed up and speed up this video. I'm just going to try to land out in the field and not uh, try to hit a runway because I'm not good enough to hit a runway. I'm going to nosedive. Look at my uh, altitude 10, 12,000, 11,000. See, I'm going 450 miles an hour. So I'll absolutely need to page down, slow down. That's as slow as I can go. That's no engine at all. And then I need to do brackets. See how it pushes your nose up when you do that? Now my speed is coming down. Wouldn't you know it? I'm heading straight for the freaking river. I just want to land in a field. And would you believe I landed right on a river? I just want to try and land and show you that you can land in a field and get you started. Like I said, I'm not going to try to hit the runway for my video. I just want to get this landed. So my flaps are at 100%. You can see on the left, my speed's all the way down. And I am going 145 miles an hour. I'm at 800 feet. Um, you couldn't really do this, of course, land in a bunch of dirt. 
So I'm going to land in a field at about, hopefully, slow down a little bit. Slow down to... It takes a lot of practice to land in an airport. I'll let you, you play with that. See, now I'm going almost too slow. <coughs> Whoops. I bounced. But this is so fun. I actually was able to land, and then I think it's the period and the comma are your brakes. You see, so I hit the brakes on the wheels, and now I've stopped. So now, I want to take off again. I'm going to go page up, full speed, bracket right, right bracket, get rid of left bracket, get rid of all my flaps, pick the nose up. So touchy, man. So touchy. And now you're in the air again. What's fun to do is, since this is a real world, that's what makes it so interesting, is you can actually fly fly around, like find an airport and try to fly to another airport, or fly to your parents' house or something in another state. It's pretty fun. And if you get bored with this, you can use the jet. But I tell you, the jet goes a lot faster and it's a lot harder to land. Uh, but still fun. All right, Google Earth Flight Simulator. Sorry I'm such a terrible uh, flight. I'm such a terrible pilot. But I'll let you show me how good you are.